General Kubat, son of Kabus, the fate of this battle is clear. I beg you, please spare my few remaining men. They no longer have the strength to fight back. Frasyav, though you now lead only the husk of a once mighty army, I have no desire to crush your dignity. Even your most savage warriors have no desire to see further bloodshed. And none among your ranks have opposed these peace talks. Nevertheless, I must hear it from you one final time. General Frasyav, do you agree to sign a treaty in good faith and commit from this day forth to peace between our nations? With my army in ruins, I am in no position to do otherwise. But on this, I give you my word. Yes, let us end our hostilities and send our surviving men home to their families. We share the desire to lay down our arms for good and liberate our hearts from the dirge of hatred. Then as God above is our witness, by the authority vested in me by this intaglio of King Kabus, I hereby declare that I will spare your hostages and what remains of your army. May peace be restored to this land, and may these fields of war become a place where crops grow aplenty. My tutor, Gundafar, has already made haste to my father, the king, with the recommendation of a truce. It is my sincere hope that he will see that peace as a path to prosperity. Prince Kubad, your name is renowned throughout your land and ours. I will place my hope in your words. One will find on a battlefield no master of ceremonies, nor the paper on which a treaty may be signed. In their absence, let us raise our weapons and swear an oath. I, Kubad, son of Kabus, hereby pledge protection to you and all of your kin. May the oceans be stained red with my blood if I am ever to renounce this oath. Wow, your friend is so dreamy. Hey, Rishana, you don't want to miss this. <laughs> I return, your highness. I hope I'm not too late. Have you already promised peace to Frasyov? Nay, I am not so rash as to preempt my father's blessing. I promised only what I could so far, the safety of his kin. My child, I must share with you the gravest news. Kabus has become blinded by fanaticism and hatred, and will stop at nothing to vanquish every last man under Frasyov's lead. How can this be? You mean to say that my father has rejected our proposal for peace? He has indeed. I urged him to reconsider, and for this I was rebuked and dismissed from his service. But far stricter punishment than this awaits you, should you return home with your troops. Please heed my warnings, dear child. I dare not imagine what unspeakable atrocities your father intends to commit. Nay, the truce must stand. I cannot renounce my oath. How can man claim to stand above beast without remaining true to his word? The masses have grown weary of death and conflict in both our nation and theirs. Are we all now to bend to his will and massacre countless more to satisfy a desire that is his alone? When I departed my beloved home to fight in a foreign land, I did so to honor his wishes and for my duty to our people. Alas, is this fate's grand design? Uh... Kaya! The next line is, Alas, is this fate's grand design, that I should spend the rest of my days in a foreign land, till I am laid to rest in a grave far from home? Must it be so? Huh? Wait, that's not part of the sc- My dear audience, I ask you this. Oh? <laughs> Then I shall discard this intaglio and rid myself of the shackles of fate. Wait, but that's not... <clears throat> My dear prince, do you intend to betray your father and abandon your heritage? Fate means to send the machinations of war to every corner of the land, to fan the flames of conflict till they engulf the entire world. Fate would see my sword tainted with the blood of innocence.
that the bright banner of my homeland might fly in every nation known to mankind. But I shall not bow to the will of fate. I am no pawn in heaven's plan. Bravo! Where did this guy come from? Is he one of the new hires? Hey, shut up! Stop interrupting! I, Kubad, will spend the rest of my days in- oh, At least he brought it back in the end. Prince Kubad, my child, there is no need to be rash. Please bring at least your fortune and the retainers who will always be loyal to you. Gundafar, my dear mentor, you have always been like a father to me. It brings me only anguish to bid you farewell. But I must walk this path, or freedom dies by my hand. Goodbye, my tribe and kin. Farewell, sweet land of my birth. Goodbye, my child. Why, certainly, man. Oh, thank you. I'll just go find a pen. <laughs> Feeling more like a fan now? Acting is quite fun. If there ever came a day when I left the Knights of Favonius, I think I might go into acting full-time. Dabil, could you introduce me to this young man? Ah, uh, my apologies, Master Toos. I somehow missed you in the crowd earlier. <laughs> I was some distance away. I just came over near the end after I noticed the large crowd gathered around the stage. The performance was outstanding across the board. I knew that the poor turnout over the past... The improvised section was particularly good. I think you could include some improvisation as a staple in future performances. As for the prop he threw, no need to get it back. It's fairly cheap anyway. Thank you, sir. And a big thanks also to our wonderful prince. Had Kaya not agreed to fill in, we might have disbanded right on the spot. Kaya, was it? Well, young man, I must say, you've made quite the impression on me. My caravan is always loaded with the finest food and wines. You're welcome to visit at any time. Thank you for the invite, sir. But I'm afraid I've reached the end of my time at Sumeru. I'm sure that my friends and family in Mondstadt must be missing me terribly. <laughs> well then, consider it an open invitation. Once you've been bitten by the travel bug, my friend, you'll be getting itchy feet again before too long. My door is always open. If you're ever interested, please ask Darbil to reach out to me. Darbil, we can continue discussions on the sponsorship once you've wrapped up today's show. I'm going back to the inn. Thank you so much, Master Toos. I'll see you shortly. Seriously, Kaya, thank you for bailing me out again. You're a good guy. May the gods bless you. You know, you should stay for a few more days. I owe you a meal at the very least. Darbil, Asgar is back. He lost track of time playing Genius Invocation TCG. You've got to sort him out. Genius Invocation again? Ah, oh, that does it. That kid's not getting away with it this time. Now please excuse me, Kaya. I will be right... Sure, there's no rush. Okay, I think they're all gone. Let's slip away now while we can. <laughs>